YouTube, what's good? It's April's Nine here, back in with another video, and... Hello to all, one, all, one and all, all for one and one for all, my camera just fell. And, <laughs> nice job. And, um, oh, music just started playing there. Um, welcome to another exciting, uh... You go ahead, I just lost my train of thought. Right! On. Um, this is, uh... Wow. Uh... <laughs> Different. That was random. Uh, this Sunday is WrestleMania. 31, yes. the granddaddy of them all. The showcase of the immortals. The best pay-per-view of the year. Uh-huh, and um, basically, um, before this Sunday. I continue on what I was going to say, um, we did fast like, on my side before, but that was an epic fail. So, luckily, we kicked it off on a... We finished it off on Pizzle's side. Yes. Um, so, basically, um, WrestleMania 31, we are going to be given our predictions for the event that is um, happening. Hey, uh, Gary, move your webcam a little down. I can only see your eyes ahead. <laughs> there you go. That was, you know, I, I had to do that because it keeps my camera balanced. Oh. But anyways, um, it is going to be taking place at the Levi Stadium in a yeah. Santa Clara, California. That, which is the home of the San Francisco 49ers. Yes, the home of San Francisco 49ers, who did not make it to the Super Bowl, and they're not going to make it to the Super Bowl anytime soon. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let's kick this off, shall we? Uh, yes. Um, Start uh, with the pre-show match. Oh, what? I this is bull crap. All right, I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, we'll start out with the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. We have Tyson Kidd and Cesaro defending their titles against the New Day, Los Matadores, and... The Usos. Thing is, we've all seen these guys face each other in singles tag team action. Yep. We've already had. Why do we need a fatal four way? Why tag the hell team? not? See, because everybody, fun. because everybody wants that WrestleMania payday. Uh huh. And plus, another thing is, I mean, we've already seen. When was the last time we saw a fatal four way tag team match at WrestleMania? Was that WrestleMania twenty? Twenty. Uh huh. But that, but this is on the pre-show. Which is a little bit, in my opinion, not really worth it. Because we've always seen all these guys face each other how many times already. We don't need a yep. fatal four-week tag match. That's right. But, who do you think is going to win here? So, I really don't care about this pre-show. I'm going to watch it anyway, just for the sake of it. But, with all honesty, I really don't care. I really think... Cesaro and Kid are going to retain <clears throat> retain the tag team titles anyway because the way they look right now, them as a really good tag team, I think they're going to retain the tag team titles. Well, let's let's go down the let's go down the list if if, if we say so. Uh, Los Menadores has no chance in hell. No, especially <laughs> having a freaking New Day. No, I don't see that happening. Usos have been tag team champions many many many, many times. And I don't see them getting their titles back this soon. So I'm going to go with Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. It's obviously Cesaro and Kidd are going to retain the tag titles. But anyways... Oh, um, you want to talk about a slap in the face. One of the best matches of the WrestleMania last year is now in the pre-show! Which is a little bit bull. And no, not, it's not just bull, it's downright insulting. It's insulting... It's just not right. It's not right. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. See, the thing was, last year's WrestleMania, it was in the card. But yes, it was. Pre-show, which is not right whatsoever. I blame Kevin Dumbass. Kevin Dumbass. Um, yeah, so the Andre the Giant Battle Royal will feature these following participants. The Miz, Curtis Axel, and Axel Mania. Oh. Ryback, Fandango, Adam Rose, Zack Ryder... Jack Swagger, Titus O'Neil, Darren Young, The Big Show, Kane, Eric Rowan, Damian Mizdow, Sin Cara, Goldust, Heath Slater, Mark Henry, Connor, Victor, and Hideo Itami. Okay, I think I have an idea who might win this match. And, you know, I hear rumors that Sheamus might make his return in this. Sheamus might make his return. We might, we'll see, he but might. we don't. Anyways, I think I have a slight idea who I want to win this match. I mean, just look at look at this guy right now. Watching him in NXT right now as we speak. I mean, you Oh. Know, you're going to go with Hideo. I'm going with Hideo. Here's the reason why. 
look at the way he's been in NXT. He's a top Japanese wrestler in NXT. He was top in Japan. The, look at the, the, the way he is right now in NXT. I mean, he is truly a phenomenal wrestler right now. I think this would be a great victory for him winning the Andre the Giant Battle Royal this year. Well, I have a lot of um, people I could go with here. Um, but I'm going to... Um, hmm. I'm going to have four favorites. I'm, I'm going to pick four, and if one of, the, one of these four wins, I'll be okay with it. you got to go Damian Mizdow. I can see him. I'll go him. Damian Mizdow because I think the last two might be him and the Miz, which would be kind of cool. Um, Curtis Axel. I mean, come on. The Axel Mania run a while. I don't know. Just no. That would be, I think that would be great. Him winning the Battle Royal would be awesome. Um... Sheamus returning. Sheamus will be my second pick if he comes back. But I think they, they're going to go with the guy that should have won last year. The guy who is a giant. you got to go with the big show. The big show. Because he is Andre the Giant this day and age. Mm-hmm. So you got to go with the big show. The big show I can really understand. Come on. He should have won last year. He should have last year, but hey, Cesaro managed to... Yeah, and look how that turned out. But yeah, anyways, um, for Sheamus, if he comes back, if he comes back, I think um, he's going to win. If he comes back, he'll be my second pick. But I'm really sticking with the deal because I think this will be a really good top notch, a pretty much a good highlight in his career so far in WWE. Okay. But anyways... And that um, brings us to the main card, which only has seven matches on it, but... I have a feeling a eighth might get at it at the last minute because WWE's too lazy to do something. Yeah. Or they're in a rush for to fill the time sake. Pretty much. So let's start with what? Do you, um. Hmm. How about just get it out of the way of the Davis match? Let's start with the Davis. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I guess get that out of the way. AJ Lee and Page versus the Bella Twins. Oh boy, I can just hear a certain guy right now just talking about Nikki Bella. Yeah, we can. Just That's talk. it. Yes. Just and Nikki Bella. Some, uh, a piss break match. Some tag team action. Jeez! <laughs> Damn thunder. We'll get to him in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, many ways, um, for this match, um, basically, in my opinion, it's just nothing really all that special. You know, it's the diva <laughs> that nobody really seems to care about. But, um, I think the way it looks, I, we've seen it before. AJ Lee and Page against the uh, Bella Twins. Um, I don't care who's going to win this match. If I have to say who, AJ Lee and Page. Yeah, I honestly don't really care about this match either, but um, we've seen this, these two, hello, we've seen these uh, matches go at, these two girls, these four girls go at it. AJ Lee and Page had an amazing rivalry last year. Bella Twins rivalry last year sucked. I mean, we saw AJ versus Nikki, AJ versus Bree, Paige versus Bree, Paige versus Nikki. So now we get to combine the two and go at them. What about that little uh, shindig of Nikki Bella and Bree Bella saying, I wish you were never born. That's <laughs> stupid. I wish you didn't come out of the womb. <laughs> oh, well, that was so dumb. It was complete bullshit. Yep, one of the worst um, angles, storylines I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yes. Last year. Very much so. It was weird. But if I had to choose, I'm, I'm going to agree and say AJ and Paige. Uh-huh. Simply put. But anyways, um, let's get to another match. I think the built-up for this was... This was one of the only built-ups that I thought was pretty good. The Viper against Mr. Money in the Bank. Yeah. Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. I'll let you talk. All right. So, Randy Orton has been out of action for... A uh, few mo- number of months yeah, of rehabbing an injury. Well, he was actually filming a movie, but he was um, rehabbing an injury that Seth Rollins put, gave him. Seth Rollins has still in the is still the holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase. Still hasn't used it yet, and um, yeah, he's just basically the the um, authority's golden boy. He's supposed to be the new face of the WWE. Said no one ever. Said no one ever except for himself. Um, as for the match, oh boy, 
Um, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say Randy Orton. RKO yeah. out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere, indeed. But um, anyways, here's the thing I like to talk about with this match. Um, the build up for this, uh, Randy Orton come back, being part of the authority for a little bit. Then about, I believe it was a match later. I think it was a tag match with Orton and uh, Rollins against whoever the fuck it was. Um, oh, the, uh, oh, no. It was Roman Reigns, I think. Roman Reigns, yeah. it, was, it was a handicap match. It was Roman Reigns. But anyways, um, Randy Orton giving Seth Rollins the middle finger right on TV. That was amazing. That was good. That was amazing. But anyways, the... The way that Orton attacked Rollins like that, letting out all his frustrations that he had against Rollins like that, that was Randy Orton in my in my humble opinion. That was Randy Orton. The real one. The real Randy Orton we all know and love. But anyways, the built up for this, the way that they've been going at each other, I thought the built up for this was actually pretty good. This was like one of the only one out of two built ups I like to out of all the WrestleMania matches. I'll get to the second one. We'll see. Uh, later on. But anyways, um, for this match between <clears throat> Orton and Rollins, it's obvious in my mind Orton's going to pick up the win, for, but this feud is going to be not over for now. It's not going to be over after WrestleMania. It's not going to be over. You don't think so? No, it's not going to be over. I'll get to my reasons why later. Okay. Which brings us to... Oh, God. <laughs> Rusev... Versus, uh, someone we might know. Fuck, what? Fuck your head! That guy! Mr. Hey, Mr. Camera! How you doing? Uh huh, uh huh! I got my dish rag! Right. I never give up! Uh huh! I'm gonna win the world title! Cause I love America! Uh huh! The PJ. The PJ <laughs> porn star fucker! The PJ porn the star fucker! The Fruit Loop Dingus! Fruit Loop Dingus! The Rainbow Fruit Rainbow Cocksucker! Uh, and then Mike, you got Michael Paul Smoker, Paul Mike. Greaser. Oh, Jay Cena is the greatest WWE champion of all time. We oh, gotta have some fun, JBL. The Hershey Highway Patrolman. The Hershey Highway Patrolman with this fifty-gallon uh, uh, bucket full of chapsticks. He's kissing Cena's ass, ass all the time. Basically, what he's doing. And then you got Cena over here. Oh, I lost the kitty. Oh, I lost because I'm clean. I did not make this. I did not do this. I am. I am. I am gonna kick Rusev's ass. I'm gonna kick Rusev's ass. So pretty much, um, Cena, or should I say, Mr. Buckethead. Yeah. <laughs> doing all of his bullshit talking that he does against uh, Ivan. Drago. Against Ivan Drago minus two point Basically, what's going to happen is, I mean, all the top guys, and Rusev is obviously one of them, all the top guys that the WWE has, all the heels, they have to make them go against John Cena, where John Cena has to, you know, put a stop to him because, you know, oh, he's the top guy. He's the top guy. He's the best. He's the newest. He's the best guy ever. It's where fanboys apparently jerk off to him all the time. Yes. Apparently jerks off to him because they love the muscular guys. Yeah, they... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, but as for who's going to win... We all know. We all know it. But i got to say, I will say this. Thank God it's not the main WWE title. Yes. Thank God it's not the WWE title. Thank God he's back to the mid card. Which is wonderful. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, what's his name, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, fuck boy, fuck it, head! For my, for the pick, I'm going to feel so sorry saying his name. I'm going to have to take a drink of ginger ale. That, oh, that's ginger ale? Yeah. That looks like beer. I wish it was. <laughs> um... Yeah. It's predictable. We all knew it was gonna happen. And the sad thing is, me and Jerome knew it was gonna happen. We all no, we knew it was gonna happen. We knew Rusev was gonna lose. 
to of all play of all people, John Cena. We all know he's gonna lose to uh, the PG porn star fucker himself. But I I got my events mixed up. I thought he was gonna lose a tribute to the troops. I I that should have known. Should have known it was gonna be at WrestleMania. Dumbass. Hey, Let's get to the other mid card title. I want. To, how about the um? We'll save that for later. Let's get to the mid. Let's get to the other mid card title. The ladder match for the Intercontinental title. I huh? Gonna to I was gonna get to that. The ladder match. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, ladder match for the Intercontinental title. Bad News Barrett defending his championship against our Truth, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust, and Daniel Bryan. Okay, I only got one flaw for this match. Uh -oh. My only flaw is Daniel Bryan. I think, you know... He Why is he a flaw? I'm saying that because he deserves better right now. He deserves to be the main event guy. But the WWE is trying, uh, from what I hear, they're trying to um, do better with uh, the Intercontinental U.S. titles. Mm -hmm. With the main event guys come down to the mid-cards. Yep. And but you know what? This is just me. I think Brian should be in the main event right now. That's just my thought. He should be facing Lesnar instead of a certain uh, muscle boy bitch tits. No, we'll get to that later. Um, but anyways, that's my only thought. But for this match, um, I'm actually, I actually like the guys who are in this match. I, I'm pretty fond with the guys who are in with Bad News Bird, Our Truth, Ambrose, Harper, Ziggler, Stardust, and. I don't think he should be in the match, but I'm going to say it anyway, Brian, anyways. Yep. Um, for who I want to win this match, I think um, Alex knows. He knows who I want to win. You want your boy. I want my boy. Dean Ambrose. The lunatic fringe. Um, the modern day Brian Pillman. I want I'm Dean scared. Ambrose to get the Intercontinental title. If he wins, I'll bring my ratings for this pay-per-view up to a good, good rating if he wins the title. But what if he doesn't? If he does, if it's, a, if it's another guy like Ziggler or um, Truth or even Brian, I'll give it a fine rating anyway. What if Barrett retains, though? You know what? I won't care. I just won't care. Okay. I just won't care. You know what? In my opinion, I don't care who wins this match. It'll be... I mean, I can't really say for now. I think this is going to be a pretty good ladder match for the Gallows yeah. Championship. I, just I, think this, I think this might steal the show. It might. It probably will. Uh, uh, most ladder matches that are on WrestleMania do. Usually. Usually. I just hope this show for sure. Usually. Anyways, um, in conclusion, my pick, I want Dean Ambrose to win. He here. wants Dean Ambrose. That's for me. Huh. Who should I go with? I could go with Stardust, but that no, that would be dumb. <laughs> it should be Goldust and Stardust. Hold on. There's my pick. <laughs> That's my pick right there, guys. He's got the yes, yes, yes shirt. Uh huh. Join the revolution. It's the yes movement. Yes, yes, yes. Daniel Bryan for the win. I can see him as our god champion right now. I really can. He deserves it. And plus, with the WWE putting more um, emphasis on the. The Intercontinental title and U.S. title like they used to, which they still should, they need to have the top guys come down and win those. So, Daniel Bryan will be the Intercontinental Champion. John Cena will be the U.S. Champion. If Bryan wins it, I'm fine with it, but I just think Ambrose... I just is, hope it's going to be a great match. I just hope so, too. That'll be. I just hope it'll be the steal of the show. But anyways, anyways um, what match do we move on to next? Let's go to the... Top three that everyone's talking about, pretty much. How about the Phenom versus Modern Day Phenom? Oh, oh, oh my goodness. This is going to be a good one. After the way that... This is the other build-up I like with Bray Wyatt. Oh, out, all of his, his promos, promos are amazing. Holy shit, he can do a promo, Bray Wyatt. Him on the mic talking about, oh... He's the new face of fear. He's the new face of fear. He's going to destroy the Phenom. He's the new Phenom or whatever. Oh. That, his build-ups have been <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it, started, it all started at Fastlane when Bray Wyatt challenged The Undertaker to a match at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a few weeks ago, Undertaker accepted. So there we go. But the only negative thing I <laughs> did not like about the 
this uh, promo is that Undertaker has not came out at all. Fantastic. No, I like that. I actually like that. Keep really? the suspension. Keep the sus- care, care to explain. I like this because it um gives the people thoughts. Like what what's he gonna come back as? Is he gonna come back as the phenom? Is he gonna come back as the American badass? We don't know. We just gotta wait till we Sunday. We don't know. We gotta wait until Sunday. That's what I like about this. It builds just think about it, it builds up the suspense. Exactly. It's suspense. it's been a year since we've seen him. Ever you since know, the twenty one and one. Do you mind if I uh, do a little recap about something that happened a while ago? Do you mind if I do a do little recap? Go for it. Okay. I believe it was, um, I can't remember exactly what, but it was, I believe it was Armageddon 2000 with Rock and Triple H, them, those guys, having that, uh, what was it, an Iron Man match? That was Judgment Day 2000. Oh, Judgment Day of 2000. The Undertaker <laughs> makes his debut as the American Bad, as some that pretty much nobody expected basically if my uh yeah no one expected that everybody thought it was going to be the um ministry of darkness taker uh huh but you may never know WrestleMania 31 might come out as the American Badass again we'll yeah. see we shall see yeah. but I highly doubt it but this match between the Undertaker and Bray Wyatt those two are going to collide but um Oh, man, this is the match. I couldn't even get a perfect, perfect um, thought of who I want to win. Only a couple thoughts are running through my mind. I can't really decide who I want to win this match. All right, here's what I got to say about this. Go ahead, I'll give my thoughts. Um, even, though, <laughs> even though he lost last year, he's still a legend. He's still one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, The Undertaker is. And if he loses... I'll, I don't. I won't care because the streak is um, not there anymore. Honestly, I won't really care because he's still a legend. He's still one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He is. But on the other hand, you got Bray Wyatt, who's the up and coming guy, who's supposedly the new face of fear, and I honestly believe it. <laughs> I mean, if I were a little kid watching this, I'd be scared shit of him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit in your drawers. Oh, it scared the shit out of them. But as for who I think is going to win, <sighs> you know what? Screw it. Follow the Blizzards. I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt to beat the Undertaker. Here are my thoughts. I'm sorry. Something. I'm sorry. Here's two things that are running in my mind. The Undertaker winning. It'll be a phenomenal win, you know, after him losing, sadly, to Brock Lesnar, excuse me, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I think, you know, Undertaker recapping that loss to defeating Bray Wyatt, I think, you know, this would be a good way to, you know, let's just say a little bit of a, what's that word? Redeem himself? Redeem himself, yes. Redeem himself after last year. But um, plus, it'll be a phenomenal win for the Undertaker because he's a legend. He's a legend in the business, and I think this would be a phenomenal win for him. But I think it will be more of a phenomenal win for Bray Wyatt. Uh-huh. But here's Definitely. the thing. There's Bray Wyatt on the other hand. Yeah. Apparently, if he beats the Undertaker at WrestleMania, this will be, this will not just be a big, big um highlight in his career. <clears throat> But this will give him a big push to be in the main event spot and giving him a future shot against the WWE Championship, being making him the top guy in the business. One of the top guys. One of the top guys in the business right now going for the WWE Championship. Definitely. So pretty much um, those are the two opinions I have. I can't really choose who I, who I really want to win. All I can say is make the best man win this match. Absolutely. Now let's go on to Sting versus the game. WCW versus the WWE. The icon versus the game. The vigilante versus the cerebral assassin. The crow versus the king of kings. This is this match. I this is the only match. Like excuse me. This is the first match I've been looking forward to out of any match. I've been looking mm. forward to this match. Well, so have I. He has, J-Money has, I believe Steve Charisma, 
JVD. I'm well, JV. I'm not too sure, but um. Yeah, of course he is. This is a match that we've all been looking forward to. Plus, this is Sting's first ever WWE match. Yeah. First ever. First ever match in the WWE. I, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to definitely put. I just hope it will put a hot. Pretty much, it'll steal the show. I just hope it'll steal the show. Is it going to be fantastic? It's going to be. Fun, hopefully, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, um, Sting. We already we've seen Sting wrestler before. I mean, his time in TNA was why we don't know why at all. But his time in WCW. I mean, obviously that was his career. Yes, it was his career. Um, Triple H. You know, he's the he's the game. He's the cerebral assassin. He's the king of kings. The list goes on and on. His credentials are like uh, no one else. Uh huh. No one else, and um. You know, him and his authority character, you know, that's just stupid. No. This is, I think it's just stupid. Um, but St- And then having Stephanie McMahon interrupt Sting and it is on Raw on Monday. Like, she doesn't need to be involved in this. No. The authority doesn't need to be involved in just have Just have it be Triple H versus Sting. Have it be WWF versus WCW. See, my own, my only flaw for this match is the yes, the authority being involved in this and his authority figure. It should be the cerebral assassins that Triple H we all know and love going against Sting. That Triple H against Sting. Yes. That's how it should be. That's my only flaw. So, uh, who you got in this? Man, this is gonna be a. This is going to be a freaking amazing match. Um, F- fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. Sting. I have to go with Sting winning this match. I have to go with Sting. Hmm. Now this one... This one I've been battling back and forth between. Because you could go with Triple H. You can go with Sting. I don't know who to go with. Because this one has been really... Uh, I don't know who to go with. But if I had to choose, I'll agree. I'll say Sting. Because Triple H has had a pretty um, bad record when it comes to WrestleMania matches. Yeah. It's really bad. And this is Sting's debut. This is his debut match. How can you lose your debut match? I'm going to go with Sting. He's going to win. Simply put. I believe so. He's going to win. Simply put. Which brings us to the main event of the night. We got Roman Reigns going up against Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. I just think Daniel Bryan should be in the main event. I agree. It should be Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. It should be Daniel Bryan. It should be Daniel Bryan versus Brock uh, Lesnar no. because... We have, we have John Cena 2.0, Muscle per- Boy Bitch Tits going on against Brock Lesnar. Yep. Well, if you guys haven't heard, Brock Lesnar just signed a new contract with WWE. Hip, hip, hooray. I don't give a shit. He's going to be here for a long time, whether we like it or not. Mm-hmm. So pretty much we might see him more on TV. Or we might see him win. We might. We, we might see him win on uh, Sunday. I'll get to that in a little bit. Or we might see Roman Reigns win on Sunday. I'll get to that in a little bit. Or we... Uh, Alright. Anyway. The build-up to this match is pretty, pretty basic. Roman wins a rumble, which is stupid. And what happened on Monday when those guys... And then the last Monday on Raw, with that stupid tug of war to end the show. I would have been fine if those two were just fighting each other at the end. But yes, no. they should have had an amazing brawl. They should have had a brawl. Not a tug of war. Come on. That was stupid. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. See, for this match... All of Paul Heyman's work... That he put months and months and months building up this match. Fell flat on his face because they had to do a stupid tug of war segment. That's what happened. But screw the happened. writers. Screw Vince McMahon. Screw Kevin Dumbass. And screw Cat Mario. Um, and Cat Mario, yes. Cat Mario, yes. But anyways, um, for this match itself, I think this is just what I think. It's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg all over again. Those no, guys, no, I don't think so. In my opinion, I just think it's going to have a shitty, shitty... 
The crowd's going to shit on this match, no, but no doubt about it. Who's going to shit on it? And the way those two are going to fight, it's going to be shitty, just like it was in Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. It, I, I don't think it's going to be that bad. That's just what I think. But anyways, um, for this match itself, it's not going to matter. Here's the reason. If Lesnar wins and retains the title, it's not going to matter. <laughs> From and Wayne, Wayne's... Wayne's world. Wayne's... If Roman Reigns wins the title, it's not going to matter. Here's the thing. Seth Rollins is going to cash in the money in the bank. And me, and I believe Pun agrees with me on this. Seth Rollins is going to cash in his money in the bank and become the new champion. It, That's never been happen, it never happened before. It never happened before, and I believe it's going to be historic. The first ever WrestleMania money in the bank cash in. Rollins is going to cash in. He's going to become the new WWE champion. It's not going to matter if he um, pins Lesnar. It's not going to matter if he pins Reigns. It's not going to matter. He's going to win the Money in the Bank. I believe we've been saying this for a while now. He's going to win Money in the Bank. Huh. Well, this is interesting. Win Money in the Bank. Win the titles. Win the Money <laughs> Money he already bank. won the money in the bank, you dumbass. Win the title, excuse me. <laughs> I'm keeping them in there. Uh, title. <laughs> he's, I'm keeping them in there. Um, no, I'm going to say Brock Lesnar retains straight up. Really? Straight up. Now Rollins winning money Roll, in the bank. No, wait. <laughs> and then, and then Roman Reigns hits him with another spear. Rollins comes down, cashes in money in the bank, hits a curb stomp on Lesnar. One, two, three. Seth Rollins leaves WrestleMania with the belt. That's what's going to happen. In my opinion, I think it's going to be an all right ending. All right ending if Rollins wins because we all knew it's going to be pre it's predictable. Just as long, just as long, just as long as it's not Roman Reigns. Just hope not. Please, God, don't let it be him because he's not... Nowhere near ready for the title. No, he's not. If you were if you were in the United States or the Intercontinental title spot, I'd be fine with that. The fact the I fact know. that Roman Reigns main evented at WrestleMania and CM Punk hasn't is ridiculous. It's bullshit. See, if Punk were wrestling right now, he should be. If you were in the WWE right now, he should be the main eventer at WrestleMania. Yeah, he should be. He deserves it. He deserved it throughout his whole career. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, he was a main event. He was a main event guy. CM Punk was. Mhm. Mm so yeah, he's the best um, in the world. But I am, like I said before, I think Brock Lesnar is going to win, retain the title. Roman Reigns is going to beat him down after the match. Rollins is going to come down, cash in the Money in the Bank, hit a curb stomp. One, two, three. Rollins leaves WrestleMania with the belt. Sends the crowd home happy. Yeah, sends the crowd home happy. Us, we knew it was predictable, but it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Yes, it's not a bad and thing. And Frankie says relax. Frank, yes, Frankie says relax. And Frankie says relax. Um, now, I'm predicting, I am predicting this match is going to be, or this match, this <laughs> WrestleMania is going to be, eh. I'm, to, I'm predicting it's just going to be, eh. For my prediction, I'm not gonna say nothing yet till I uh, till I see the show. But for my best thoughts, the top the top matches are gonna be it's obvious the ladder match, the Undertaker and Wyatt match, and the Sting and Triple H match. Those are gonna be the top matches. Yeah, the reason why I say it's gonna be eh is because most of the WrestleManias that end in odd numbers are usually really bad. Yeah. Just look at 29. Look at 27. They're shit. Yes. Shit. Absolute dog shit, but... They're complete shit. It's complete major poop. The hell? It's my damn computer. That's messing up for some... Anyways, um, that's going to do it for WrestleMania preview and predictions. I want to thank Gary, the young assassin, for being a Skype guest to join me for this. And I thank Alex While he's filming me, while I'm filming him. Yes, and I thank Alexander the Great for being a Skype guest. Absolutely. As well. Let us know what you thought, what do you think is going to happen at WrestleMania down below. And yes, I'll 
put his video in the link of mine. And I will do the same for yours. And um, until my next video, this is April's and I saying peace out, baby. See you guys next time. And once again, I'm going to say it anyway. Once again, motherfuck, Cat Mario, and uh, a fuckboy pocket head. Not the same. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. See you guys later.